All right, welcome back. We are now on the final test that I'm going to push out before this uh, 1.11.33 goes live. We think they said tomorrow, today's 14th, tomorrow's 15th. Um, will it go live? Will they fix any of the things we found that are broken? I don't know. Today's going to be about one by ones and how empty can we get them? And we're going to find that out today. And you're going to see there's two interesting things in the back that I don't think most of you even know exist. I did a video about them. It's in the one by one video I did before. I will post that below so you can take a look. But that's not the scope of today. Today we're going to find out just how empty empty can be from a hab that doesn't have an empty. So what I did is I started with companion, then do storeroom. This is on every single type. So all the manufacturers. And then I did the fuselage. Now, yes, there's A through through D. You can watch the other video. I have timestamps for it. There's literally no difference between them except the outside. The inside is exactly the same. I just did the C because that's the middle one. The other ones are like front, back, that kind of stuff. And I put where I could portholes all the way around and I will be honest the top porthole did not make a whole lot of difference uh, I, I don't know that it made any difference but I did it anyway because why not so we're gonna go in and we're gonna see I'll put timestamps and I'll also have the hab tags on these so you can see what it is when I'm in them and we're gonna find out just how empty we can get these one by ones which would make your builds that much more versatile. And hopefully I don't get stuck halfway between my ship this time. It, it's it's a progress. Okay, we're going to start over here. We're going to start with Deimos. And we are going to do their companion way first. This is the one by one. So if you place all, ha all doors, all windows, everything you can get, you're going to have this container here, that uh, cooler... You're going to have two overhead bags, but otherwise fairly decent amount of space. Not terrible. Let's go over and check their, whoop, this way, uh, check out their storeroom. So if you decide to do the Deimos one by one storeroom, you're going to have these two crates, kind of cool looking crates. Uh, this rando little bitty thing if if you have a way you can work those into your build fine that's cool it gives you a little bit of extra swag you can have in you only have one overhead uh, bin on this one not too bad so let's go take a look at hope tech and see how uh, how empty hope tech became well that's exactly what I expect from hope tech just nothing in there <laughs> hope tech is just empty so if you don't mind the kind of sheet metal look and the uh, concave walls, which are very difficult to place anything on, uh, then Hope Tech might be your jam if you want a one by one that is as empty as you can get it. All right, so the Hope Tech storeroom does have an, a small overhead bin, not too bad. You've got the, the skylight that doesn't really do too much. There's rarely anything in the middle because that's where ladders spawn anyway. So I can see why the uh, developers didn't place anything there. Cora, just not get past her. There we go. Cora. Okay, now we're going to go over here to Nova. We're going to see what Nova has for one by ones and how empty they can become. Well, that's awful having that thing right there. This is the companion way. Um, so I kind of dig this part. So you have this, this curved section over there. This could be a cool bedroom. If you put the bed sideways, you have a really cool porthole to look out. And this could be like your nightstand. I mean, not nightstand, but like your dresser and all that stuff. Then over here, you could make this out to be the, the galley, place a coffee maker up there, stuff like that. Have a little desk or put a desk over here. Maybe, uh. In this other one, you've got your uh, crapper in this with a small divider. So it, it could work. Um, there's certainly a lot of stuff in the way, though. How about their storeroom? Interesting. I mean, 
you don't have all the crap on the floor, but you get these uh, dividers, which are kind of neat. You do get an overhead. If you can figure out a way to make those work for you, um, yeah, this isn't too bad. I mean, it's not that empty, but it isn't too bad. Now we get Stroud first. Right here. Alright, Stroud. So, we got a container. We have... <laughs> We have a moving cart for furniture that we can't move because, you know, even though it's on wheels, we can't get rid of it. We got one over, two overhead bins, a pallet. Yeah, don't love this one. A lot of stuff that'd be in the way. How about the uh, cargo? That's way better. So there's two overheads and then this one thing. Like I said, if you can figure out some way to incorporate that into your build. Um, I kind of like these corner pieces better than I like Tayo. Or not Tayo. Well, I mean, it would be Tayo also, but the Hope Tech. I could dig this. I, I don't love that that one small thing is there, but, but I could dig this for Stroud. Now we need to go opposite of Korra. Alright, so this is going to be our last of the normal 1x1s. One one. This is Tayo. This is going to be the Hope Tech variant. Better color scheme. Well, a color versus not a color. I think of this and Hope Tech, I kind of like this better. Still, you have some difficulties with those. Uh, but... Nice and open. If you want open, here you go. Put a put a rug over this. Because having that being that discolor from the rest is kind of weird. I won't lie. That was their companion way. What about their storeroom? Same thing. You do have one little bitty uh, overhead basket. Not too shabby. Now let's go look at the things that I don't think most of you even know exist. Fuselage. I will warn you, if you try to connect these together, it will pop a door everywhere. And I don't just mean an opening. I mean a literal door that you have to open to walk through every single time. It's awful. Even if you connect these, all fuselages in a line, every single one of these is going to have a, a door. So... The companion way's got a lot of junk in here. You gotta if you can find something vertical, cabinets, whatever, oh, with that overhang right there, that's gonna be nearly impossible. Short cabinet maybe. Then you could kinda hide this stuff. But you're not gonna get that open. I mean at that point you might as well just go with the Hope Tech. And then you don't have that big fuselage part sticking out the top, the big rounded part. So this is their cargo version of the same thing. A lot of junk. I mean, we need to bear in mind these are not actually empties. I'm just, quote, making them empties from what they are. All right. That will conclude the testing videos for Starfield Beta 1.11.33. I appreciate you all you're watching. I will try to make some follow-up videos to see if they actually patched any of the uh, bugs that we found. Um, I'm not going to hold my breath too too much because uh, it's just, you know, it is what it is. But we'll see what they fix and, and how things improve uh, once this goes live and or some time period after with hotfixes. Thanks for watching.